Hey guys, welcome to Tactrix Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to write an Upwork proposal using ChatGPT. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to write an effective Upwork proposal using the power of ChatGPT. So we'll guide you through the process of crafting a winning proposal that stands out and increases your efficiency. But before we dive in, let's get a brief overview regarding Upwork. So Upwork is an amazing platform that connects freelancers like you with clients from all around the world. With a wide range of job categories available, there's something for everyone in here. But remember, it is a competitive space and to succeed, that is why we need a proposal that shines. So the first thing that we'll do is to sign up on Upwork. So if you don't have an account, you'll need an Upwork account to get started. So on the website, just click on get started and you'll see two options in there asking you if you're a client or a freelancer. So let's click on freelancer and then continue. Right after, you'll see the sign up screen. So, so you have the option to continue with Apple or continue with Google or you can fill in the details in here such as your first name, last name, your email and the password. So just click on create my account to continue. Now the next thing that we'll do is to click on two jobs in the search bar. Now let's talk about choosing your niche. So this is an important part in getting a job in Upwork since finding your sweet spot is crucial. It's all about matching your skills and passions with the right projects. So take some time to explore the different categories on Upwork and find where you truly excel. This will set the stage for your success. And here on our video tutorial, let's try to put it in here video editor so just click enter to search and on this part you'd be able to see the different video editor jobs in upward so here on this left side you'd be able to see the filters so in the filters you'd be able to see the different category and subcategory for the jobs so you'll need to scroll over through it so that you'd be able to see the category that aligns with your skills and under the filter category section, you'll also find a variety of filters such as experience level. You can see entry level, intermediate, and expert. So we'll choose entry level if you're still a beginner. And you can also see the job type. So if it's early rate or fixed price, then you'd be able to adjust also the rates in here. So as you can see, you can slide this one out so that you'd be able to choose which rates you prefer. Then if you scroll down more, you'd be able to see the number of proposals sent. So there is less than 5%, 5 to 10. And then you could also see the client info. You can choose my previous clients or payment verified. So just click on that and then the client history. So let's get this 10 plus hires and then the location. Also the project plan, you can choose that one and then the hours per week and then the connects needed. And if you scroll back up here again, you'd be able to see the different filters that we've added also how many jobs are found onto that filters that we've attached now let's go to the next step so let's find a job that we want to apply so that we could create a proposal so let's try to choose this so that we would be able to see the job details just click on it and then just came through it so that you'd be able to see the different details that they're looking for. So I really highly advise to go through all of the details and to read all of it since there are some proposals that will require you to add in a certain letter or word that you've seen in the proposal just to make sure that you have read them. And here on the bottom part, so you could scroll down through this so that you'd be able to see the different details that the job offers. So to apply, just click on apply now, then you'll be redirected to the page wherein it asks you to submit a proposal. So you'd be able to see the proposal settings, the job details, and the terms, and the additional details which is the most important part in submitting a proposal. Now you can see here on additional details the cover letter. So this is where you seal the deal, so let's make every word count. Now let's ask for help with our AI friend ChatGPT. So just a quick overview regarding ChatGPT, it is a state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. It is designed to generate human-like text and engage in natural sounding conversation. ChatGPT is also based on GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformer Architecture and has been fine-tuned to perform well in various language tasks, making it a versatile tool for a wide range of applications. Now to use this tool, we need to go through a quick sign up or login process for this. So just follow in the prompts. Now let's talk about why we're using AI for proposal crafting. So this is all about efficiency. 
AI can save you time generating content and providing ideas that can spark your creativity. So it's like having a brainstorming buddy right at your fingertips. Now let's try to copy the job details on Upwork so that we can paste it on ChatGPT's platform. Now we need to be specific on what we need. So let's type in here, ChatGPT, I am currently applying for a job. Can you help me create a cover letter for my job proposal? And then you'll just need to paste in there the job details that we've copied earlier. Now, as you can see, it will generate its response. Now let's talk about why it is important for a well-crafted proposal. So this is your first impression on the client. And you know what they say about first impressions. So a well-crafted proposal is your ticket to catching the client's eye amidst a sea of applicants. So it's your chance to showcase your skills, demonstrate your value, and stand out from the crowd. Now, once you have the generated proposal, please review it carefully. Make sure it aligns with your style, skills, and also your experiences. Be honest if there are details that you don't possess or if something doesn't sound quite right, then feel free to adjust it. Remember, authenticity is the key. You'll need to remove any unnecessary details and ensure that the proposal represents you accurately. Also, you'll need to fill in the details also in there so that you'd be able to complete the proposal such as your employer's name and the job title and also your details. Now it's time for us to copy the well-made proposal and then paste it on the cover letter. Now make sure to review it again for accuracy. So below cover letter, you'd be able to see attachments in there. It allows you to attach files to your proposals, which can be incredibly beneficial for showcasing your skills, past work, and providing additional context to clients. So you can just drag or upload the project onto the middle part of it. So just scroll down for a little bit, and then you'd be able to see in there the booster proposal feature on Upwork, which allows freelancers to increase the visibility of their proposal to clients. So when you boost your proposal, it gets prioritized and appears higher in the list of proposal that the client receives for a particular job posting. So this feature is designed to enhance your chances of being noticed by clients and potentially getting more opportunities to win the projects. So as you can see in here, the first place onto the bid is 17 connects. So if you want to bid the first place, you'll just need to set a bid that is more than 17 connects. But keep in mind that boosting your proposal doesn't replace the importance of a well-written, personalized proposal. So this feature is just optional, so you have the preference in there to choose this or not. Now just click onto the green button to send in your proposal. And congratulations! You're now equipped with the tools and knowledge to write an impressive Upwork proposal using ChatGPT. So crafting a tailored proposal that addresses the client's needs and highlights your skills is your key to success on Upwork. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow freelancers. And until then, happy freelancing!